You have 24 hours to build the scariest Minecraft base before we raid it. Go, 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 go! There we go! Okay, so right now we have absolutely nothing. But I got some help from some builder friends. So we just gotta do that command. And now we have the area we're building. Where today this haunted base is gonna go from area 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and all the way to 6. Where each section is gonna be something scary. And number 6, that's where the haunted mansion is gonna be. We'll get to that a little bit later. Okay, let's start with 1. Where first, let's make this place a little scarier. Time, night. That's a lot better. And on each side, let's get some mountains. There we go. That's better. But now with this setup, we have one last thing I want to do. This is the sound of a Minecraft footstep. Not very scary. I'm going to make sure they have to use this mod right there. Now watch this. There we go. That's some better footsteps. Now for actually area number one. I'm thinking for this part of the base, a spooky forest. So first, let's get some fences on each side so they can't escape and open up the ground. There we go. So they'll be greeted right here with a sign that says, Missing Alex, find at mansion. Let's Let's make that glow real quick. And so once they set foot in here, well, that's when the scary stuff starts to happen. So for this area, we need some spruce trees and some cobwebs. There we go. Shout out to the builders. And so now this is the spooky forest where once inside, there's going to be a lot of things added around here. We'll get to that soon. That being said, before we do anything, you guys see the sky right there? I figured out something we can add. Watch this in three, two, one. There we go. So now in this entire base, they're going to be able to look up and see skulls on either side. Terrifying. But now let's actually get to the scary stuff. That's why we have the coder. Where I'm thinking three mobs, and as I get closer to the mansion over there, things are gonna get scarier. So this is only level one. So I'm thinking we do the zombie, Enderman, and you can never forget the villager. Let's start with the basic one, a good old zombie. Let's right click him with the coder. And now we're on block bench, where we're gonna be able to edit a basic zombie and start off by first giving him a lower jaw. Next up, let's give him some big old teeth and color in his mouth a good bit. I'm trying to make something not too scary, but it's definitely gonna pack a punch. Now let's touch him up a bit. And that should be good. With our finished first crawling zombie guy, shaded color colored, and some basic animations ready to go. Now let's click confirm in 3, 2, 1, and this is the crawling zombie, where its name is simply a crawler, and we're gonna start off with a 20 health and damage 6. Nothing too difficult, where its skills are to bite the ankles of the players, and the main thing is to jump scare on attack, and of course, hide in bushes. It's our very first one, I'm excited for it, so let's go confirm in 3, 2, 1, and we got him! Look at him go! The main scary part is when he actually bites them. Let's spread them around real quick, and before they get to the gate, they'll have them waiting for them right there. Very happy with that. Next up, let's do the Enderman, where I think we can make this guy a lot scarier, especially when you look into his eyes. Let's right-click you, and so this is the normal Enderman, where my plan is to make him shorter and give him a little mouth. Let's make his head a little bigger, and we're gonna do something cool, where we'll give him like a brown and blue glowing design. Kinda like that, but let's get some help for the polish. There we go. As for what he does, I'm gonna wait for you guys to see that later, and let's confirm in 3, 2, 1, and we got him! Look at this guy! Yep, that is terrifying. We also got some help from a friend on this one, and so of course, we gotta pay some effort everywhere. There, here, and here, where by the time they get to the end, they might be dead and they only get one chance. And to make things harder, we have one last mob for this area. Mr. Villager, let's right click you. And now it's time for the knife hand villager. It might sound a little familiar, but with the basic villager, we're going to give him some better arms to work with. Let's import some ketchup covered kitchen knives and drop it in. We're actually going to start off by making a basic hand holding pose where he's gripping a knife in both hands. Now let's get a basic texture going, starting with a creepy smile and red eyes. And we can't forget some polish. There we go. This this is a sick looking villager. Let's spice him up a little bit though by adding more knives. Yeah. Now for some animation. And I think this is ready guys. The third mob of the area. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And with the code, it's gonna be simple. They're facing a villager with knife hands with 20 health and five damage. Kind of similar to the zombie where the main skills are to stabby stab and to stalk. So let's go confirm in three, two, one. And we got him. So just like last time, let's spawn these guys all over the place where th all these guys are gonna be doing jump scares. So that's level one almost done. But I have two more crazy ideas. Right now, there's not many sounds. What if we added scary ambient sounds? Let me show you what I mean. Let's right click. And so we're going to be coding the spooky sound player where it doesn't need health, it doesn't need damage. It's pretty much just going to be an invisible thing. But the main thing it does is it just plays spooky sounds randomly. I'm going to have some devs help me with this one. Let's click confirm. And now we have it. So for example, at the beginning right here, we can put a spooky sound player right there. And it does the Minecraft scary sounds. But obviously, it's not invisible. There we go. Now it's ready. And we'll probably place them all through here. Here. And so there's only one thing left for level one. It's my base, so I gotta defend it. So we're gonna add something right here. Watch this. There we go. This is gonna be the tower. And on top of the tower, I'm gonna be on a mounted cannon. For example, this guy right here. Credit to my team, where they made it where I can right click this thing. And at any moment, I can use this item right here where it's the jump scare laser. Look at this. There we go. So I'm gonna spam it literally while they're down there. And it's gonna cause a jump scare that you're gonna have to see later. That being said, with that cannon done, that's gonna be area number one done. 
we're at the very end, they're going to immediately start number two, where they'll be greeted with this little skull right there. Okay, so for area two, this is going to be the blood water parkour. So thanks to my builders, we have this thing right here. Where right now, it's pretty much normal water. But don't worry, that's going to change soon. Let's also get some parkour for them to actually get across. There we go. That'll do it. It's not really the hardest parkour in the world, but they're definitely not going to want to fall soon. That's where we come in. Let's start with the water. So all I got to do is right click the coder here. And so for a water, I'm going to open up its texture and shift the hue from blue to red. Now we have ketchup water. Yeah, yep, I'm calling it ketchup. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And to stick with the ketchup water, the type is going to be block. And of course, it's going to be a water block where its skill is that it's going to damage the player if it's in the block. With, of course, some bubbly ketchup noises. It's straightforward. Let's go with it in three, two, one. And we have it now, the ketchup water. Where when they fall in there, a lot of damage is going to happen. Don't worry, though. The school is still just crying water. I also added one extra thing. If I do this command right here, we also now have geysers that go up randomly. I thought it'd be a nice touch. I don't think it's scary enough just yet, though. So before we get to number three, we have one mob to do. Real quick, we just got to look up the cod and we're going to spawn one cod right here. Right click you. And so we're going to be making piranhas. So of course, we got to start with a tropical fish instead. I swapped it out from the cod. We'll stretch it out a little and now give it a mouth. Can't forget the teeth and some more diesels up top. I'm liking the piranha so far. Let's get some color. I think an eerie green shade will work because it contrasts with the red. Perfect. Now to make the mead with some code. And with the piranha, they're going to have 20 health. And of course, because they're so small, they're going to be hard to hit while they do damage of five and super fast speed. Their skills being they can leap at the player, knock back the player if they're not crouching, and scream at the player on attack. Let's make sure there's some sounds in there too. And now let's confirm in three, two, one. And we got him. Look at him. Now here's the fun part. We're spawning lots of piranhas. Now it's infested. And so after getting past number one, they got to get all the way through here and make sure they don't fall. So with two being done, now on to number three. Getting a little bit closer to the final mansion where the scariest stuff is going to happen. For this one, I'm thinking a maze. Let's get some building help. There we go. Now we have the maze where it starts very big. And as you get deeper, it gets smaller and smaller all the way to level four. But we got to make it a little bit more scarier than this. Let's get a better design. That's a little better. Now it's going to be very tall for them. And for some darkness, let's get a roof. Perfect. And we can still see the maze solution from up here. Very straightforward, but it's going to be scary. Like that skull back there. So once they go in here, I'm thinking, why don't we lay out some traps like lasers and mobs? I'm thinking first, let's lay out a mine for zombies. So with the coder, let's right click this and we're going to be making a zombie trap where the type is going to be Steve and we can ignore the health and damage right now. My developer friends will help with this where the main skills are to summon fast zombies at the players if nearby. Let's click confirm in three, two, one. Now we have it, the zombie trap. So pretty much when they walk through here, there's an invisible trap right there. That's going to cause a lot of scary zombies to come in when they walk on it. You might be wondering though, what zombie? Let's make that real quick. So we're now going to make the fast zombies from the trap. And because we're at level three, they're going to be getting higher health of 40 with the standard damage of six. Super fast too, where the skills are to jump scare the player on hit and to scream randomly. And they might spawn in some more randomly. Let's click confirm in three, two, one. And we got him. Look at this guy. Just wait till you see the jump scares. We'll get rid of him for now because the trap is really going to be the one that summons him. That's not enough though. Let's get some lasers. So for this, we just got to do slash head space X Astorio. And this will be the base for the lasers. My head isn't that scary, right? So let's right click this. And we're going to be making the scary laser. And the main things it does is to laser trap on a timer and to summon fast zombies on trigger. And of course, a jump scare. So let's go confirm in three, two, one. And so now we have the scary laser. It's not on quite yet, but don't worry. We're going to real quick do something cool. Going to put one here and here and here. And now let's activate it in three, two, one. And now they're activated. I moved them a little bit. And so when they enter the laser, you guys will see what happens. For now, I'll put some more around here, but we have one more scary thing to do. As they get deeper in the maze, for example, right here, I'm going to put scary pictures. So real quick, let's get one painting, put it down right here, and oh, oh, uh, maybe, maybe not that one. Yeah, we'll do that for now. And for the code, what's going to happen is it's going to summon a fast zombie if nearby player, and looking at them is going to cause a jump scare. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And so now in survival mode, if they look right here, they get jump scared. Okay, 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 that's enough. Anyways, that's only painting number one. We're going to do one here, and might as well do that that one there. Get these going around here as they get deeper into the maze. And as they go up here and go into the deep part, it's going to get scarier. Remember, these spawn in zombies too. But finally at the end, they'll get to the gate and that's number three done now. And as you can see, the mountains are made of nether this time. So me and my builders have an idea. Okay, so right now we have nothing. We'll watch what the builders made. This is going to be the nether floor they walk into. So they'll come out right here, get to this spot. And now let me ask for some more stuff. This is a lot better. This is going to be the nether room where I have a plan for ghosts and a boss. 
Let's start off with the ghost, which will be pretty much based off me. Let's right click. And so we're going to start off with the player body. And I'm going to apply this cool ghost skin I found online and we'll cut out the excess. And there we go. And now for the code to make it scary and deadly. So this is the ghost where the type is a villager and the health is now 40 and the speed is going to be fast but the skills are kind of like vexes to go through walls, haunt the player and charge at the player. And of course, a loud scream on attack. So let's go confirm in three, two, one. And we got him. Look at him. So we can spawn a good bit all over the place. We'll just get a good bit of ghosts around. There we go. And their goal, of course, is to make it to the end, but they might have to get rid of the boss first because the boss is going to be all the way right up here where we're going to base it off the guest. Where it's already kind of scary, but we're going to make it scarier. So let's right click you. And now it's time to make the nightmare guest. So we're actually going to start with a blank canvas. We'll add a cube and start working on a basic face shape. Now let's get a bottom jaw shape going and some tentacles growing out the back. Perfect. It's coming out nicely. Now let's take this model and add a great texture. And there we go. And let's give it some life. Perfect. Let's click confirm. And this is the nightmare gas. With 50 health, it's going to be a boss where they're going to shoot dark fireballs at the players. I've already designed these. You guys will see this later. And it's immune to its own fireballs. So literally, they might have to sprint for it. And of course, awful shrieks on damage. So let's click confirm in 3, 2, 1. Oh, and we got it. The nightmare gas. Where now we can spawn them right here. Oh, and there they are. They're just going to roam the area. And when spotted, you guys will see what it shoots. It's pretty cool. So once they get through here, they should be safe. And all that's left is number five and number six. So because it gets more difficult, what if we do something similar to the warden? First, let's get a build in three, two, one. This will do. It's a straight path with a lot of dodging. But before we get the main monster, let's add some sound stuff. This should be a little bit better. So their goal is to make sure not to summon these sounds or these. But there won't be a warden this time. Let me show you guys what I want. Let's right click the coder. And so we're going to be making a blind husk. And for this guy, we're going to take our ugly fast zombie and start off by making his skin look like a husk. Now we're going to cover his eyes. He's going to rely just on smell and sound. And just like that, we're set. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And so the blind husk is going to be very dangerous where the damage is going to be 20, not that high of health, but the sight range is two. And the skills are super hearing, stalk the players if here, and to wander just randomly. And if they do get attacked, vicious zombie noises will happen. And there's not only going to be one, I'm going to do multiple. So let's go confirm in three, two, one. And we got him. How's it going, buddy? So we'll put one here and here and here and here all over the place waiting for them to make a sound. Oh, someone already made a sound and they're trying to kill each other. Don't worry, I'll handle that. But before we get to the final part, let's get one final obstacle and that's knives. Let me code it. Right click. So we're going to be taking our bloody kitchen knife from earlier and give it a basic animation of it stabbing out of the ground and getting a little bigger. And with that done, let's get to the code. This is the ketchup covered knife trap where it'll jump out of the ground randomly and damage the players on stab because we're still trying to make them die because then we have one chance. So let's go confirm in three, two, one. And now we have it. Look at it. Where we can just put them all over the place and they'll slowly be going up and down. Literally gonna put one right at the entrance waiting for them as soon as they get in. And that should do the trick. And all that's left now is number six, which is the haunted mansion. This is where their objective is. So with the help of a builder, we first get the foundation. Get to a good view of where everything's gonna be. And this is the actual haunted mansion when fully built. There's a bit more to it though. When we go inside, they're gonna have to go all the way up here to the very top because the basement is the final goal. And inside, they're gonna have to go through a linear path all the way through a lot of scary parts. It includes a maze, a special locked room there where they have to unlock it with this. And once these doors are open, it continues for a while. Finally going all the way down, not even to the first floor yet, but some other challenges. And in the sub, here I have a few ideas of what they'll have to fight. But once they drop down here, it's gonna feel like Zen. Some happiness, some peace, but it's gonna lead to them placing a music disc here that'll open up their next path. That being said, now it's time for the basement where I'm gonna be putting a lot of normal villagers here, but you'll see that very soon. But all you gotta know is with this music disc, they're gonna activate a secret door where this secret door is gonna be right here. And then it takes them to the teleporter underground. As you can see, I got a lot of help with this one because we gotta make sure we don't lose. But when they go down here, they're sent to the mega basement. And this is where their objective is gonna be. Alongside a surprise, but you guys will see that later. Let's start with the objective. So real quick, let's use the coder. And this is the objective that they've been playing for this whole time. They're trying to save Alex. We actually already have this model from an older video I did like this. So let's just copy it over and get to coding. With the code, it's gonna be Alex, where it's gonna summon Alex's ghost, which we can click confirm here. And let's get straight to Alex's ghost code, where it's gonna be a 50 health, stabby and chargey ghost. It's pretty much a boss, but it won't be the main boss. Let's click confirm in three, two, one and there they are right there in the center they're gonna go right click scary alex and something else will spawn which is pretty much me right here i'm actually the final boss in survival mode i'm gonna be entering this bad boy right here which one of my friends made where when we right click it it is the scary mech which we can go ahead and ride and use many abilities to fight them off but if i die I lose. This is only the final room. And to make it a little bit more fun, let's add some 
and ketchup knife saws out, especially where they spawn in. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the front and let me show you how this works. Inside the mansion, there's still three more parts we gotta decorate. Where it all starts in here, which we might as well add some ketchup knives right here. That's better. And once you get past that, this is where the next obstacle is. To save some time, here on the screen, I pretty much quickly modeled this coil head and gave it some code. It ended up with this guy right here, where he's not gonna move when you look at him, but when you're looking away, he might follow, but he won't follow me. He's nice. So we're just gonna put a lot of them all around here. Luckily, they're too tall to follow them this way, but they're gonna have to get creative. One waiting right there, all the way to this room where they gotta press this lever. Good job, guys. Finally, they'll come all the way down here. Might play some more cool heads, because why not? Oh my gosh, that scared me. Holy cow. Okay, that's how it works. <laughs> Okay, um, yes, the coal heads work. Anyways, these guys, terrifying. And sooner or later, they're gonna get here where this is the next boss I got some help with. Pretty much on the screen, you'll see that we ended up making a familiar boss, which is Huggy Wuggy, where he won't be a formidable foe and definitely getting their health down when they get down here. So I hit confirm, and for now, he's gonna be spawning, just chilling on the ground. Don't worry, he's gonna activate when he gets here. Their best interest is to get away through here like I showed earlier. So they fall all the way down, finally back to this room where I'm gonna be spawning a lot of normal villagers, like this guy right Right there. But what they don't know is that when they put in the disc into the jukebox, a lot of scary villagers are gonna spawn. You'll have to see what happens when they click it. And just to make the surprise a little bit better, there are a lot more things in there that I haven't shown yet. If they're making this far, well, I guess I have a big challenge ahead of me. So there's one final thing to do, and that's to put a sign. Good luck. You'll need it. Dash Nestor. They probably won't hear from me at this point. So it's about time. It's been a good bit of setup and coding. Let's get my friends online and see if they can save Alex and defeat me. Here we go. Gentlemen, welcome to the scary base where I want you guys to just go in and find your friend, Alex. If you guys manage to find Alex, you guys win $1,000. But there might be some struggles along the way. And as you can see, you have lots of friends waiting for you right behind me. Are you guys ready? Nestor, I'm not even scared. <coughs> scared? I'm not even scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you guys sound great. Anyway, Anyways, uh, I might also be trying to stop you guys along the way with them. So, uh, yep, have fun. All you guys got to do now is go straight forward, and I will be waiting with the cannon. Well, Forrest, um, ladies first. Oh, no, I think that'll be you first. As long as we don't separate, like every scary movie, we should be fine. You know the classic saying, if, if, a, if a tree drops in the forest, somebody dies. Y yeah, that's definitely how it goes. Oh, oh my gosh, what, what was that? that? That is the cannon of doom. Just saying, I recommend probably making Oh, crap, he's it? going there oh, anyway. Oh, oh, okay. oh, he's going for it. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's break through here. Let's break through here. Oh no. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hit you. I hit you. Oh, gosh. You scared me, dude. I thought I was getting munched on. Go around right. Go around the right side. Just take him out. We can crush the, our fears away with swords. What is happening? <laughs> ah! Crafty, wait, you need help? I'm here, I'm here. Oh no, you guys are gonna make it to the next level! <laughs> no! <laughs> round two, yes. baby! Welcome to round two. All right, gentlemen, time for round two. This is the Ocean of Blood. If you guys look up and to your left, that is my friend, Freddy. <laughs> oh, oh no, Crafty, no, 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 are you guys okay? That you almost lost thousand dollars there. Just saying. Anyways, if you guys look up, Freddy right there, he's a little bit sad. His fish have not eaten in a long time. So your goal right now is to either fall down there and you know provide food, or make this level three. Whatever you decide, have fun. It's all up to you. By the way, you don't want to die to the piranhas. The piranhas will uh, do lots of stuff and damage. Have fun and do some parkour. I think we don't take this one slow, Crafty. I have a bad feeling. <laughs> These things are jumping up really high. You know what? Let's just send it. All right, send it, send it, send it. Okay, things are okay. Oh my gosh, look at you, dude. Okay, this isn't bad. This isn't bad so far. I am so surprised you're surviving this. What is the armor you guys brought into this? What is this? We made some serious netherite upgrades. Let's go this way. Only a few more jumps. Only a few more jumps and we're there at the very end. Come on. No! Are you serious? <laughs> Are you no, serious? Crafty. Wait, Crafty, you fell. Oh, no, the piranhas are coming on land. I will help you. Come on, Crafty. Yeah. One more jump. Yes. <laughs> well done, gentlemen. And by the way, I recommend getting out of there because uh, the fish are still going to chase you down. So uh, get, get to the next room. Okay, let's go, Crafty. Welcome to room number three. I do not recommend looking anywhere yet. Look at me right up here. All I'm saying is it is getting harder and scarier. Fair warning, you guys can quit now and pay up half the money. No, I think I'm good. Okay, okay, fair. Okay, gentlemen, welcome to to level three. All 
all you have to do now is go forward and see if you can survive. I mean, if you guys sign this one, I wouldn't be surprised. Have fun. I have a bad feeling about I this I also one. have a bad feeling. I think we just need to time our run so we can avoid these lasers. Okay, ready? Three, two, go, one, go. go. Oh! Okay, okay, maybe not. Run, run. Oh, God. Just go. It, Don't even no. think about it. Don't even think about it. What is happening? Gentlemen, be careful. There might be something chasing you down also. Oh, there's zombies. There's zombies. No, stop. Where do we go? Where do we go? I'd say go straight down to that scary painting right there. Have fun. I don't like this. Oh my gosh, the zombies are coming. Also, the zombies uh, are coming. There, there's a couple things uh, coming after you. Uh, you might want to say hi to them. Oh, you broke the painting. I didn't like your painting. Oh gosh, no. Run. The zombies are after us. Run, gentlemen, run. Another one of my paintings. I'm a big fan of it. Okay, okay, okay. How many things are going to appear? Wait, did I just go in a circle? What? You got to figure out how to get out, buddy. Okay, okay, up here, up here. Staircase, staircase, staircase. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. We're making progress. Am I almost there? No, they made it. Yes! Oh, and I only peed three times. All right, you know what? We need to make huh? this harder. What? Gentlemen, give me your totems. Totems? No totems. Okay, okay, okay. Anyways, though, welcome to level four, where there's gonna be a bit of a difficulty buff on this one. And all you guys have to do is make it to the other side. Here's the issue, though. There are a lot of mobs in this one. If you do survive, I'm gonna be proud of you. And there is one extra guy, and he's gonna wanna meet you right about here. Oh, no. Have fun. Let's be careful over here. Uh, Let's go this way, maybe. If we just don't get spotted. I think we're probably going to be fine. Doesn't look like it's got... Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Okay, it spotted us. It definitely spotted us. Maybe if I hit it with my bow... It'll oh, be gosh. No, that doesn't help. That, that doesn't help. It hit me in the lava. That's not good. There's a lot of ghosts over here. Oh, there's a lot of ghosts. Uh, can we attack them? I'm withered. I'm withered. I'm eating golden apple. Honestly, you guys are doing pretty well. I think I'm almost there. My ghosts were not as well terrain as I thought. Forest, we might be able to take out the nightmare ghast. Where is it? Where is it? I don't it's see it. It's behind the lava. I see it. I see it. Bow it down. Bow it down. By the way, you guys can't make it to the next area until you kill the gas. Oh, of course. Of course. That would have been nice to know. Okay, there it yeah. is. There it is. One more yeah. shot. One more Come shot. On. One more shot. Come on. You got it, Forrest. Yes. No. Oh, yes. Go. Let's go. All right, you guys. 20 seconds to get to the exit. Go, 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 go. go, go. go, go. Wait, what? That's not a lot of time. Here you go. Here you go. You got to get there quick. I think I made it. I think I made it. Oh, and congratulations, gentlemen. Yeah. You made it to the next stage. <sighs> All right. Let's get a breather real quick. Because again, it is going to get harder again. Hey, uh, Nestor, can I just have a real quick panic attack, please? Uh, you can have a raw card. That's all I got for you. Okay, thanks. Gentlemen, welcome to level five, where again, it is going to get harder. And in front of you, you can see lots of blind husks. That means sound and smell is very important for this one. Also, you see those things rising on the ground? If you guys could step on those, that'd be amazing, especially for losing 10 hearts. And uh, hopefully you guys don't make it to the scary mansion, because uh, th that's where it gets really hard. Have fun. I don't know about you, Forrest, uh but I think he was being sarcastic about standing on the knot. Oh, 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 I don't think he was. Let's be as sneaky as possible then. Uh, I'm not trying to step on any pressure plates or figure anything. I might know how to create oh, chaos, no. guys. Oh, no. oh, they made noise. They're moving. Why? Why? What'd you do? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Crafty, keep doing that. You're doing amazing. Crafty, come here. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Slowly, slowly but surely. I'm just saying there are a lot of zombies heading your way. Oh, of course there is. Oh, oh no. Here they come. We might need to pick up the pace. We might need to pick up the pace. Oh, oh my gosh. What, was that? <laughs> what the heck was that, man? Come on, let's get them. They're right here. They're right here. They, they've definitely seen me. Run. Run. run, 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 run. run. All right, get in the door, boys. This is the haunted yes. mansion. Congratulations on making it. Close the door. Close the door. Close the oh, door. Gosh. Oh, gosh. Wow. You guys actually did that. Gentlemen, welcome to the haunted mansion. I honestly didn't think you guys would make it this far, but a lot of my stuff did not do as well as I thought. That being said, I made sure this is going to do a lot of damage to you guys. Your goal today is to get to the basement and find Alex. And there might be a surprise there, too. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. All right. Have fun. I will not be helping you. Goodbye. Yo, Forrest, you gonna make a bet amongst bros? Uh, sure. No helmets. If one of us dies first, you owe the other one 50 bucks. <laughs> Let's do this. Interesting decision. I'm not gonna complain. Go on up and do your thing, guys. Okay. Uh, this seems completely fine. Oh, gosh. Nothing oh, gosh. scary yet. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Whoa. Uh, maybe I'm gonna put the helmet back on. No, 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 I'm kidding. You know what? Child accepted. Let's do this. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Let's take these things out one at a time. Oh, what the heck is that? What is that? So let me explain the coil heads to you. They're actually harmless. They haven't even tried to attack you. Uh, harmless. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That looked like Alex. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. Watch this, dude. If I look away from them, what happens? Oh, my. Wait, they appear behind you. Oh, no. Okay, so we just need 
need to keep looking at them then. That's that's simple enough, right? Just don't look away. Yeah, just look them right in their beautiful little springy eyes. And they definitely look friendly. Very, very friendly. Let's just... Ah! Why? No, gosh. Oh, there's a... There's the Alex. Alex, that looked like Alex. The problem is every time I get scared, I look away from my screen. Okay. Well, you, you may not want to do that. Ah! Just saying, it's gonna be hard to find your way out. Uh, you know what? Right or left? Let's flip, let's flip a coin. Do you have a coin? I do. Ready? Heads. Uh, sure. Okay, <laughs> that means right. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Just keep moving through. We might, uh, we might yeah, have to- just ah! keep moving. Oh, no. What was that? Oh, oh what my is that? gosh. You might want to run. The house is alive. It's alive? What is happening, dude? Did we just go in <laughs> once a big circle? You guys just did a big old circle. You really got to work together to find the way out. Okay, left. You were so wrong about going right. It was the apple's fault. Oh, gosh. What is that? What is that? Oh, no. There's hands. Oh, no. There's arms. There's arms in the floor. Okay, you know what? Let's just get past them. Let's just get past them. Just run. Just run. Just run, just run. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just run. Let's run. Just run. Just run. Oh, my. There's a tentacle. There's a tentacle? There's a literal tentacle. You know what? Just run past it. Just run past it. Uh, there's more of these things. I don't, I don't know where I am. Okay. Take those out. Uh, where do we go? Okay. So, if you guys can hear me, pretty much, you guys need to find the switch to open the door. And it might be obvious where it is. See the knives? Get in there and press the button. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I volunteer crafting a tribute. Go ahead. We go together. Oh, let's, go. Yeah. Let's, let's just go. Oh, it's right there. Okay. There we go. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. So, Forrest, you just found out what happens when Coilhead hits you. You just got sent all the way back to the start while Crafty is alone at his finish line. Are you kidding It me? teleports you to the start? Crafty, you better hope he gets back quick because things are going to get difficult soon because that door's open. I need to get back there. I think I know the way. I think I know the way. I think I know the way. Come on, Forrest. I need you, bro. Just through here. There's a tentacle. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm back. I am back. This is only the top floor, guys. You guys got to make it to the basement. One floor? I'm just saying, if you guys want to give up now, that's completely fine. Oh, and also, uh, more coil heads incoming. Oh, no. We gotta watch our six, my boy. If they catch us, we're back to the start. That is not Yeah, yeah we, we don't want that to happen. Another tentacle. Another tentacle. That's okay. Wait, how do you get past this thing? Okay, okay, there we go. Wait, where am I? Where am I? Go, go, go! Just go down here. Just go yes, down here. Yes, Oh, and my And now the whole God. way of knifey boys. Here's a golden apple and make a break for it. Make a break for it. Crafty, you're left alone. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm backed up in a corner, but nothing ever stops. Ah! I will help you. Okay, okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I'm so low. Go, 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 go. We're almost there, I think. We're almost ah! there. Go. Is this it? Well, welcome to the room where you guys are not even halfway done. What? There's what? one thing left to do in here before you guys can get out of here. And I'm just saying, I prepped him good. All right, gentlemen, as you can see right here, we have my friend, Huggy Wuggy. But I want you guys to celebrate making it this far. So real quick, turn around and take a screenshot on F5. Aww, a nice little screenshot with Forrest. Yeah, you know, I think we could do that facing uh -oh. foe. Oh, oh, oh God. maybe too late. Have fun. Uh, how do we kill this thing? I cannot see when he hits me. Keep him away from me, Crafty. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Here, take this, Huggy. You got this. Yeah. You got this. No. Yeah. Wait, we took him down? Yes. Okay. Well, gentlemen, well done. After this, we're, we're, we're going to pull out all the stops. Just be ready. All right. Go on towards that room and jump down. I'll tell you your mission once you get there. Okay. Here goes nothing. Hey. Oh, no. He just went down. Oh. It's a happy village. <laughs> this is nice. Uh, this is a good break. Anyways, your mission right now is go to that jukebox you see, play the music disc, and unlock the basement. That's all I'm saying. If you want to give up now, I'll give you half the money back. <gasps> you know what? That's pretty tempting. That's tempting, but you know what? Giving up is for losers. I like your thinking. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Oh, gosh. What, what if all these villagers come to life and try to take us out, dude? No, no, that wouldn't happen. That wouldn't happen. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, no. Yep, I oh, knew no. it. I knew it. Well, congratulations. You guys now have access to the door at the end of the room. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to lose 50 bucks. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the corner. There is a horde of zombies behind me. You got to run, Crafty. You got to run. <laughs> yes. 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 Crafty, get over here. Oh, gosh. Okay. 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 I'm running. I'm running. Crafty. Help. Help. Forest. Forest. Oh, no. What did I just get hit into? Where am I? Oh, oh. I think Forest may have made the basement. Go through that patch of zombies and get to the basement, Crafty. But they're blocking the door. I can't get in there. Just get in. Just get in. Just get in. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
You might want to jump in the basement right about now. I'm jumping. Yeah. Uh, hold on, dude. I'm at one heart. Let me just heal up real quick. One heart. Gentlemen. You guys okay. made it to the basement now. The final area. All I need you guys to do is, real quick, face this way. And I'll tell you guys I want to turn around, okay? Okay. Okay, they're over there. And now it's time. Let's get in this guy. Ooh. All right, gentlemen. Turn around. And get ready to battle what not only what's coming up next, but I am the final man. Mech battle. This is Mecha Scary Villager. Uh, Nestor, are you in the mech? I am now <laughs> visible from the mech. Here I am. Wait, so we gotta take out Nestor? Here, here's how it works. You kill me, thousand dollars split between you guys. Oh, you guys snap. don't kill me and die. Well, uh, sorry about that. Anyways, though, you can go forward and probably find the Alex person you were looking for. <gasps> There's Alex. Alex is down there. They actually want to see you. Go, go, go talk to them. Okay. Um, hey, hey, Alex. Um, okay. Oh, no. Dead Alex. Dead Alex. The first boss is dead Alex. Wait, what? Alex, why? Oh, no. There's cobwebs here. Oh, wow. You guys are actually doing pretty good damage oh, no. here. Okay. Oh, no. Looks like you guys are going to win this fight. So let's get ready for the real final fight. Oh, wait. Go up. Go oh, back gosh. Up. You might want to take your time taking care of dead Alex. Uh, Take out Alex. Yeah, take yeah, out yeah, Alex yeah, first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got Alex out of the and way. And congratulations. You got now to the final boss. Let the fight begin. Villagers, come out. Oh. Oh my what god! Oh my god! Go, oh my go, gosh. go! Esther, what have you done? There's no way. Ah! Scary lasers attack! <laughs> Crafty! What is happening? There goes one! What are we supposed to Only do? Only one oh left! Oh my gosh! That's insane! Force, I'm so sorry, but you uh, never were gonna win. Uh, the power of the scary base is impenetrable! No, 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 no. Get me on top of this! Hit me up! Hit me up! Yes! Yes, I'm up! Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, he's in a good spot. Now I just need to use this bow. Uh, don't worry, I'll take care of this myself. Get away from me, Nestor. Crafty, are you still alive? No! Please tell me you're Crafty still alive. has been long dead. No, no, no. Get no. out of there. Eat a golden apple. Eat a golden apple. No, 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 no. Get him, get him, my minions. Go. Not today, Nestor. Not today. Oh, no. Oh, no. I took a lot of fall damage. No, it's over. It's over. No, no, no. Please let me Let me out. shoot my lasers. And let's no, get him no. out of here. No. No, 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 no. Let's finish him off. I'm He's alive. so alive. I'm alive. What? I'm alive. Come on, lasers. No, 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 no. No, oh, no. Yes. <laughs> Gentlemen, you guys were great sports. Thank you for coming to my mansion. And I won't make you guys lose any money. Only $2. So send over the dollar each. And with that being done, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. And here's a video just like this one. Bye, guys.